G'day, I'm Anton from Big Terrain. Just wanted to take a few minutes of your time to talk you through some of the features and benefits of our chilli chest ice boxes. Firstly, you'll notice the thickness of the lid. We've actually gone for quite a thick lid. This is the area that cops most of the sun and the heat. This is um, high density polyurethane. It's actually injected under pressure into the lid and then sealed. So it's a seamless design. There's no welds or joins or anything like that. You'll notice right throughout it's a one piece mould. You'll also notice we've recessed all of the areas that we can such as the latches so that there's nothing protruding there nothing to catch on or scratch or break and we've also recessed the moulded ledge handles this gives us a really strong finish you can get four people to either side lifting this and um, again no protrusions so it's a nice flat finish now these recessed latches are also made of stainless steel so obviously we are an ocean girt by sea we love the beach, we love boating, and we've thought about that. So these are stainless steel, and again, fully recessed. We've also gone for a commercial grade fridge seal. So you can notice here the thickness and the width of the seal. Now that has got a fantastic memory retention. Generally the first thing people do when they get an ice box is this. Not a recommended practice, however, one that happens all the time. So this seal has a fantastic memory retention and it gives a truer seal and therefore a better cold retention. And again, with the thickness and the density of the polyurethane, um, you'll notice a really, really good cold retention with the chili chest. There's also a threaded bung. You'll notice this is at the lowest point. Many ice boxes, the bung is actually located inconveniently an inch or two above the low point. You'll see there as well, we've got a thread on that. So you can actually connect a garden hose fitting, you can drain the box remotely, and you can also fit a tap as well. So if you want to dispense drinks directly from the ice box, which a lot of people do if you're having a party or something like that, you're able to do that as well. We've also put white skids on the bottom. We've done this for two reasons. One is to maintain the integrity of the base of the structure, as well as um, many boaties of course use ice boxes, and most boat surfaces are white. So the chance of this leaving a mark as you're dragging across a boat surface is greatly reduced. This is the 100 litre box. We also have the 50 litre box. We've got two colours, green and yellow. Take your pick, they're both great Australian colours. That's the 50 there. We've also got welded hinges. Now the reason we do this is because the weld, it's like an integrated mould. The weld is across a great or a greater surface area than um, if you're bonding with pop rivets or screws. Quite often with pop rivets or screws, they tend to weaken at a certain point and can break off. So we've got a lot more uh, faith in the uh, plastic world there. That's the two boxes. Thanks very much for taking the time to have a look at them. And uh, happy esking.